Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Hum, the guitar podcast. Today, I'm reboxing the Fender Mustang GT40. It just really underwhelmed me in so many ways. I honestly feel a little bit betrayed by this whole experience. Like, I mean, first off, this thing came with a ding. It seems to be under the Tolex. But some people have said that you can get dings like this even with the Tolex on there. But it's just like th this, the, the box wasn't damaged in any way. This happened before they packed it. And the fact that it was shipped to me this way is pretty concerning. But I was willing to overlook that cosmetic issue if it, you know, had a function. If it sounded good, if I could play it around the house and, and have a use for it. Is it going to go in this bag or what? But I think I've demonstrated over and over again in the videos that this, the sound of this thing is just not acceptable in my opinion. And in the opinion of a lot of other people too. There's a lot of people online saying similar things about it. There just seems to be some kind of issue with the speakers or with how the, the hardware or software handles the stereo function of this amp. It just sounds out of phase. It sounds nasal and muddy. Like It's just not pleasant to be in a room with. It's more than oh, I don't like the sound of this amp or this isn't my kind of sound or whatever. It's like there's something wrong here with this amp, with the way it sounds. So, I bought this thing on Amazon, Amazon Prime, and then when I went through the process of trying to return it, uh, a message came up and said, oh, this is ineligible to return through Amazon Prime. I'm like, that's stupid. Because I pay for Amazon Prime and it's supposed to give me, you know, return protection on pretty much everything is what I assumed. But apparently this is listed as some kind of hazardous material. And uh, Amazon doesn't want to deal with it themselves. So they had to put me in contact with the third party seller, the person selling through Amazon. That person wrote me two business days later. And I was like, hey, what's, what's the problem? And I had to like level with them. I'm like came with a ding, which I was willing to overlook, but then it sounds terrible. It sounds out of phase, sounds nasal, sounds muddy. Uh, and another thing is the USB plug on the back doesn't work. So it's like this thing has a bunch of strikes against it. I've had a lot of trouble getting the, uh, the software, like the phone app to work over Bluetooth. So I don't have Bluetooth issues with any other device. Like I use little Bluetooth speakers around the house, and they're fine. I use you know all kinds of other Bluetooth devices, and they're fine. Like I don't know why this app is so buggy. Like this thing has just been kind of a failure from day one for me. Put some uh, tape on here. I I I can honestly say that this is the first product I've used in years, let alone in the time that we've been doing the podcast and that I've been doing this YouTube channel, where I can fully say that I wouldn't recommend anyone buy this product at all for any reason. Like, There's no reason to buy the, the GT40. I've been hearing that some people really like the GT100. It doesn't have the same issues, I think because it's just one speaker. But then I'm hearing that people are having issues with the GT200, two speakers on that thing, a stereo setup. I think there's something wrong with the stereo. And then I can't even speak for, you know, the cosmetic damage issue that looks like it happened before it was shipped. And um, the USB not working at all, like completely non-functioning when that's like promoted as the way to direct record these things. So yeah, that's my 
official opinion on these things. I wish it wasn't. I wish this was a good amp. I was looking forward to another quality product from Fender. I'm a big fan of Fender. I have a lot of Fender products around here that I love. But this is just a big miss. So anyways, the third party seller, I answered their questions. They told me initially, oh, we can't do returns on this, it's refund only. And I'm like, okay, well give me my money back and whatever you want me to do with the amp, I'll do it. And uh, I think they thought it over a little bit and they sent me return shipping today. So they decided, this wasn't as hazardous material to ship as they wanted me to think it was. Maybe they thought I would chicken out on the return for some reason. But no, I want my money back. If I had bought this from like a big guitar store or something like that and they offered me store credit, I'd be like, yeah, give me store credit. I'll go buy like a pedal or something like that. I'll buy two pedals. Or I'll go buy a bunch of straps or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm gonna need scissors for this bit. I've got the shipping right here. Got my handy left-handed scissors. So I can take this to a UPS location or I can, the email said I could actually flag down a guy in a truck and just hand this to him, which sounds a little bit more adventurous than I'm in the mood for right now. I think I'll just take it to my local UPS drop off and not have to flag someone down, you know? I mean, doing a little bit of a chop job on the cutting here. There was a listener of the podcast who, uh, who went to a guitar store and tried out, he claimed that he tried out three of these GT40s. He tried out three GT40s. And every single one of them had this out of phase, muddy sound, this nasal sound to it. So he doesn't think that the issue is just my amp. He thinks it's a lot of the amps, if not all of them, because there's suspicion that maybe my amp in particular got wired up wrong somehow, but that doesn't seem to be the case. All right, all boxed up. I probably got to take the old shipping labels off of there. It's ready to go. Sad to have to return something. I usually like to keep everything, and then when I'm personally done with it, I sell it at a used price on Craigslist or Reverb or something like that. But I just, I can't accept this as a product that I purchased new. Like, there's just too much wrong with it. And thanks for watching, guys.